Hey, this is Latifa Sapphire with Latifa Sapphire Studios. So now we're ready to start to play with the other shapes, the shapes that are covered in the Clammy Basic series. The whole circle or full circle, half circle, quarter circle, and the orange pill shapes. In this short video, we're actually going to look at cutting out all of those shapes using the half circle as an example. Let's get started. All right, when I first released the Clammy templates, I made sure to give you guys cutting instructions for all of the shapes. So if you look in your packaging, and this is a new packaging, but it's same pa um, instructions were, similar instructions were in the original packaging. It gives you instructions for cutting each and every one of the shapes, um, the basic shapes that this particular tool can cut out. But all of you are like, well, what's next? So I decided to launch the series of uh, Clammy Basics mini patterns that basically walks you through in extensive detail. Um, even though they're pretty small, compact patterns, they're also very thorough for um, cutting, piecing, layouts. It's all included in these little, little guys. So that's kind of nice. So let's talk a little bit about cutting first. And we're gonna use the half circle as the example. Inside of each one of the patterns, I give you the first chart you'll see are the pre-cut sizes. And these are pre sizes that you cut your fabric, pre-cut your fabric, so that you can then place the clammy on top, cut one or more of the curved edges and um, cut out either your background or your shape um, fabric. So I've already gone ahead and pre-cut. We're playing with the 10 inch clammy in this particular video. And I've already pre-cut the fabric for my half circle shape. And I've pre-cut fabric for my background as well. So let's set my background aside. And the first thing that we're gonna do um, on each of the shapes is gonna tell you how you cut it out. So for cutting out our half circles, we place the clammy on top of that fabric. We align the half circle line, which is right there, along the bottom of that rectangle, and we're gonna cut along the top curve. Now a little bit about cutting. For all of the clammies, your favorite tool for cutting is gonna be your 28 millimeter rotary cutter. Um, for the 10 inch and the 12 inch, you can use the 45, but I still find that the 28 millimeter is my favorite. Now, if I'm cutting a lot and I'm doing a 12 inch clammy and I want to stack my fabrics and cut them all out and power through them pretty easily, of course, that 45 millimeter cutter is going to give you a larger blade and it's going to be a little bit easier to make it around. Um, a stack of fabric. So just kind of some options to give you. But as I said, my favorite is that 28 millimeter. I also very often like to use my rotating cutting mat as well. I don't have it set up today, but if you do have it, do not hesitate to pull it out and um, to use it. So once again, we're aligning, the pattern tells me, we're gonna align that half circle on that bottom line and we're simply gonna cut. Now the line that you're supposed to cut is gonna be highlighted in yellow in the pattern so you can know exactly what curve you are supposed to cut. Just like that. And that is my half circle. Um, now, when you're cutting some of the shapes, you, it's going to require you to fold first before you place the clammy on top. And let me grab one of these background pieces here. And the pattern is going to tell me to first fold those. And up, oh, I have two. We only want to cut one of these at a time so we can have a nice, precise cut. We're going to match the short end just like that. Um, if we wanted to, we could actually press that edge. I'm not gonna do that just now. Now we're gonna place the clammy on top. We're gonna line that grid so that they're um, kind of aligned with the parallel, uh, the edges of the, the fabric and the grid itself. We're gonna touch the bottom. The pattern tells you, walks you through all of this. We're gonna touch the bottom with the template and then we're gonna line that fold with the fold line. And you'll see that a lot. There's a fold line here, and there's also a fold line on the opposite side of that clammy, and a fold line on the bottom. So pay attention in those patterns when it tells you to align the fold line with the fold. Generally, if you have a fold and that fold line falls very close to that, you're gonna be aligning it. Just like that, align the fold line. 
And now the pattern is going to tell us to just cut this curve. So pay attention to what curve you're supposed to cut. We want to keep that edge nice and straight so we're not going to cut that curve. We're just going to cut along this curve. I'm going to rotate that a little bit towards me so I can cut it a little bit easier. Once again, aligning that with the fold, touching the bottom, making sure the grid is nice and straight with the edges of that. And we're going to cut. And now we have our background fabric and our shape fabric. And now if we open that up, we'll see how it fits together. Perfect. And next we can go and press our registration marks. Now for each of the patterns, there's four of the clammy basics. It walks you through very specifically if what size template you have, the, sh the size to cut the background and that shape fabric to pre-cut it. And then it tells you how to place the clammy on top and then which lines you're supposed to use to cut it. So just take your time and walk through these. We've kind of done all the difficult work for you, so all you have to do is read and follow instructions. Let's go on to pressing our registration marks. Mm -hmm. 